Hey everybody, Chris here. Thanks for joining us on another Daily Dose. We really, really do hope, man. This has become a daily thing. For me, it's my drive to work. I know, that means I have to listen to me sometimes. I usually don't listen to those. But everyone else, I click on and I watch on the way to work and it just gives me that little centering and I just, God, what do I need to work on today? Today's another one of those and hopefully an encouragement with you as well. Um, I'm gonna pick it up a little bit just where we left off. We just heard yesterday about this whole idea of how we turn to God and how we need to humble ourselves and and our walk with him. And I wanna pick up on the last verse we just left off on. And again, that's James chapter four, verse 10. By the way, isn't this good? Isn't it fun on the weekends to be teaching the life of Jesus verse by verse through the book of Mark and then coming to Jesus' once again half-brother James and seeing, wow, how does this play out in our everyday life? Man, I hope this is good for you. It's great. By the way, we're up to 17,000 of you now on The Daily Dose. Isn't that amazing? So when you're doing this, just know you're not alone. And this isn't a small group of you. 17,000 of you now are daily going, yeah, I'm part of something. I'm part of 17,000 that daily God is speaking through to his word. That's what you're part of. Okay, enough of that. Let's go. I already spent a minute of my time. James 4, 10, we left off. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. With that humility in mind that we're supposed to have, he immediately turns the corner and we go to today's verses, James 4, 11. So brothers and sisters, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against his brother or judges him speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you are not keeping it. You're sitting in judgment on it. There is only one lawgiver and judge, the one who is able to save and destroy. But you... Who are you to judge your neighbor? So we get this little rebuke for those of us that presume God's will. For those of us that judge, we look at someone else and how they act and what they're doing and we mean to say, well, that's who they are and that's what they deserve or that's where they're going or that's where they're heading. And yet this word here, this slander, is more than just internally a thought. He says, look, I wanna talk to those of you that talk to others about brothers and sisters. Now get this, this is in the body of Christ. This is Christians. He's saying, look, in this attitude of humility, let me show you one major thing that's gonna point out whether you're humble or not. In this attitude of how do we walk with God, the few verses before are talking about, let me show you what's gonna determine how your walk with God's going. It's how you talk about other brothers and sisters, how you slander others in the body of Christ. Let's just be honest, especially at a church the size of North Coast. I know a lot of you don't go to North Coast that are also watching in on this on a daily. We know a lot of Christians that just bug us. Some of that's just personality differences, people. We have a staff now of 561 people. That's not all full-time, about 125 full-time, but 561 people. Even on our staff, there are personality types that I just get with and go, eh, if we were growing up, we'd play on opposite sides of the playground. That's just who we were. Nothing against them, nothing against me. I, in my mind, I know, I think I drive them crazy. I walk into every room, I'm loud, I'm boisterous, I talk. I know that surprises you because you see me as such an introvert on these things. But that's what it's like around here. And I know there's people just roll their eyes and like, well, no work's gonna get done here for the next 20 minutes because Chris just walked into the room. And I know that, I I know I can cast that shadow on people and I know there's people's personalities that I don't like being in the shadow of as well. And this is a verse that says, okay, that's fine. But what do you do with those thoughts? We're brothers and sisters in Christ. I just hit on chapter three just a few days ago, this whole understanding of, man, we can't talk about others in a negative light because they're made in the image of God. And now James brings this back. You want to walk with God? You want to humble yourself, get yourself right? Humility comes in letting others live their life their way. And if they need to be judged, allow the judge to do it. Don't play judge. Why don't you love those that need to be judged? And maybe the motivation for loving them is understanding, man, God might be judging them someday. I should love them now. Maybe to help deter somebody. It's once again, humility, how are we using this? If we're using this to tear down others, brothers and sisters in Christ in the church, I think it ties into what we just talked about, submitting ourselves to God, resisting the devil, walking with God humbly. James immediately says, humility is how you speak about other sons and daughters in the kingdom. There's a humility check. There's your encouragement today. Watch what we do with this. See you guys tomorrow.